this week we first learned that J.P. Morgan Chase, America's largest bank, may have been the victim of a cyber attack. The latest reports indicate the bank is still investigating whether its computer systems were hacked, while its depositors are left to worry. The bank in cyberspace, and once inside, they unleashed what looks like appears to be custom-made software, malicious software. This is an extremely advanced attack, is what you're saying. This is a very highly sophisticated, you know, people that knew what the inside of the bank's uh, technology infrastructure looked like, knew where to go, and they basically tunneled into, uh, you know, various data uh, sources and began slowly siphoning out data over a period of about two months. Because we had just heard they spent a quarter of a billion saying we're going to protect our customers, we're not going to let what happened at Target and Neiman Marcus happen to our customers. What could they have done if they've already spent all that money? Um, and he said, he said, look, this is an this is an issue they deal with just about every day. Someone trying, I mean, obviously someone's always trying to steal someone's identity and larger, more organized attacks like this. And he said, look, sometimes the bad guys are going to win uh, in these cases. And, you know, luckily in this one, it doesn't appear like any money was taken, but there definitely was a lot of data taken out of the bank. And it's the, the size and scope of it is still, uh, you know, unfolding. JP Morgan Chase data breach was one of the largest in history with up to 76 million households and 7 million small businesses affected. The breach highlighted the vulnerability of financial institutions to cyber attacks and the potential consequences of such attacks for customers and the broader economy. The JP Morgan Chase data breach served as a wake-up call for the financial industry and highlighted the need for increased investment in cybersecurity measures. 